Hi, this is Shadid. Today we're going to be looking at the various leg reaps and leg sweeps of sumo and of course compare them with those of judo. It is very nice to always look at these techniques. They're always fun to watch, but it's always nice to learn new setups, new grips. The jacket obviously plays a role, but also the sumo belt and the pushing and someone charging against you. These are not the characteristics of judo and also the lack of the jacket, uh, almost naked wrestling. So all these are great angles to study these reaping and sweeping techniques. So, but before I do that, I just want to shout out Chris Sumo. I got the idea from his videos and I'll link his video in the description below for you to check it out. Um, this is something that I've been very interested in and also in regards to self-defense, it's a new tool in your arsenal. So the first one is going to be your uchi gake or your inner hook. As you can see, you put your leg on the inside and then you blow away the leg of the opponent. Here you see he grabs the leg, he hooks and he keeps his ankle low and tries to pick it up. The belt grip is very firm. It's very important to give him the drive forward, the leg grab also as well. And then here gets the win. So this in judo is known as O Uchigari or major in a reap. As you can see, he goes in very low and then from the inside, he blows through the leg. He doesn't hook it high. He just give it a swift blow in order to knock it off and using the jacket to put the weight down and back in order for them to fall flat on their back for Ippon. Here you see also another variation is you push down with the jacket and then you hook up giving them only one leg to stand on and then you drive backwards hopping so here let's see it one more time he grabs the leg he hooks and drives backwards very similar to judo but with the belt grip the next one is keta guri it's a very nice blow from the inside cross step and then you sweep the ankle can be also very minimal while gripping the belt or as they are charging towards you as you just saw you can just simply sweep the ankle from the inside this in judo is known as ko uchigari or minor inner reap it is the same you go to the side and then you give it a swift blow with the ankle from the back it's and to the side so it's not so much of a big hook that would be another technique but as you can see it is a very swift sharp blow and you use the sleeve and the lapel to push down and back to put them flat on their back it's one of the hard techniques to pull off but it is a beauty to see ko uchi gari so next is your soto gake it's a outer hook it can be a very little hook or a big one as you can see here and you plant the leg firmly and then there's also kirikaishi it can be a little bit confusing but kirikaishi you just pull them over your thigh back but here i believe he was going for soto gake and not so much uh, kirikaishi so um it's very important to distinguish the two it's very much like judo there's a lot of little details that change yet the the name completely changes and it becomes a totally different technique much like uh, o soto gari and o soto otoshi so ko soto gari here you see it in judo it's like soto gake you go you hook the leg you reap it either on the ankle level or you hook at the back of the calf muscle or the back of the knee and then using the sleeve and the lapel to put the weight on the leg that you are reaping so you take away their support from underneath them and then you put them down this is ko sotogake it's a far bigger hook and it's very similar to the sumo example however kirikaishi you plant your leg firmly on the ground you don't hook their leg and then you trip them over it from what I understood. If it's something else, please let me know down below. So next is Chon Gake. Now, here's my question. Chon Gake and Susuharai, what is the difference? So from what I understood here, you grab the back of the belt and then you push them. 
and then with the front of your ankle you sweep their back of their ankle or calf very much like um, suso harai so suso is the the lower part of the back of the jacket in the kimono so to me they look very much similar unless there is a little detail that i'm missing um, also suso harai can be done without gripping the belt regardless of the name here you see he circles him then as he is coming forward he sweeps the leg another example here he as he is pushing him he sweeps the leg let's see it in slow motion he sweeps the leg as he is about to fall his opponent falls before him thus he wins so the ashi harai or advancing foot sweep you can do it from the side the leg that's stepping forward you use the sleeve to push their ribs and then push them in the direction of the throw putting them uh, off balance and the sweep becomes much easier now the one that's in sumo however it is this particular variation of deashi harai it is as they are pushed forward via their belt you sweep the back of the ankle with your leg either the the bottom part of the foot or it can be the front part of your ankle kind of like a reaping uh, tool uh, in gardening so here let's see it uh, at a close-up and as they are going forward you continue their movement so uh, another thing in sumo that a lot of people don't know or constantly ask about is their leg grabs yes there is there is actually quite a few you can uh, the knee pick is, is a couple of techniques either you grip it from the outside or the inside that differs in name and also the double leg and when you are reaping the leg you grab the other leg as you just saw uh, before so um, but however the reason why you don't see it quite often as you do in wrestling or in old judo it's because in sumo if you just post your hand on the ground you lose the fight so you are, you are charging the other guy is charging so the stance is very low and um, if you go for the legs deep down you risk putting your arm on the ground and thus losing so they go for it but very rarely unless they have entangled their arms and belts grips etc and thus they can go for the leg but if they are charging and there's no firm grip going for the leg is incredibly risky and then you can risk putting your hand or your knee on the ground and it's over if you see in wrestling they need to go down uh, in judo in the past they go down for the fireman's carry uh, in wrestling they go down on their knees for the double leg takedown in sumo if you just attempt to do that you'll lose so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this was shady thank you for listening